All right, welcome back to another edition of the 2023 MLB Draft Show. Excited to have Blake Mitchell sit in Texas' own, arguably the best high school catcher in this draft. Blake, welcome to the show, man. Excited to talk to you a little bit today. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me on. Glad to be here. Absolutely. So why don't we kick things off, give uh, give you the opportunity to kind of describe yourself here. Who's Blake Mitchell on the baseball field? What are some of your best tools? How do you like to play? What's your mindset out there? And then uh, the second part of it, what do you like to do off the field, man? What are some of your passions, some of your hobbies? How do you like to kill some of your time? Um, I'd say on the field, I'm definitely a calm, cool leader. Um, just a leader by example, you know, just showing my teammates and guys on the field, you know, the right way to play the game. And, uh, you know, I like to have a little flash in my game. Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, look good, play good. Uh, you know, always having a smile on my face when I'm out there, uh, you know, just being a great teammate all over the field. Uh, and then, you know, my, my favorite attributes about myself would definitely be my arm behind the plate. You know, I think that's probably the strongest part of my game defensively. And then uh, offensively, I would just say my ability to use the left the left side of the field, uh, just to go backside, you know, especially backside power, just whenever I need it. Um, and then off the field, you know, just a fun guy. Always with my family and friends. Um, whenever I have some free time, I like to go hunting. Uh, that's one of my big uh, just hobbies, you know, whenever I have free time. And then, uh, you know, when I'm with my friends, we go golfing every once in a while. And uh, fun fact, I do. I golf right-handed, so I don't, I don't mess up the left-handed swing. Uh, you so, you know, that's always fun with my friends. So I want to talk a little bit. Let's let's just start with your summer. Uh, you've kind of been a guy that's been, <clears throat> at least in, in scouts' eyes, um, you've been reasonably well-known for, for a couple of years now. Um, how was the summer for you, man? You, I mean, you were all over the showcase circuit. You hit everywhere you go. Um, how did you think you performed? Uh, yeah, you know, it was definitely a long summer. Um, I went to every event I could. You know, I wanted to put myself in front of all the scouts' eyes, you know, just putting myself in the best situation I can. Uh, you know, I didn't I didn't really want to hide from them. You know, I wanted to be out there, be in front of them. You know, just – I just wanted to go play baseball. That was the main thing. You know, I didn't want to just, you know, take a weekend off. It's like, no, I just wanted to go play, you know, because that's my attitude. I want to go play. You know, I want to go perform. I want to compete against the, the best competition in the country, um, you know. And I feel like during the summer, you know, adjusting to that velo at the beginning was a little tough. You know, I feel like I struggled a little at PDP. Uh, but, you know, after that, I feel like I kicked it up and, you know, was just competing, you know, throughout the whole summer. You know, I introduced you as arguably the best high school catcher in this class. But if we're being totally fair, I mean, you're up to 97 on the mound. You're more of a two-way guy, to be totally honest. Talk to me about the differences between hitting and pitching. Is there one that you prefer and then kind of the second part of that question is, where do you see yourself long term? I mean, do you do you see yourself being on the mound? Do you see yourself um, hitting or, or I guess, are you open to doing both at the next level? What's your what's your two way approach? Yeah, you know, I worked my whole life to be a hitter. You know, that's what I want to be. I want I want to catch and I want to hit at the next level for sure. Uh, but, you know, if getting on the mound and pitching helps my team win, then, of course, I'm going to do that. You know, be a, be a two way talent. Uh, you know, I do it in high school. Um, I know it's going to help my team win and possibly get us another state championship. So, of course, I'm in a two-way. And then going into college, you know, if if me two-waying is going to help the team win, then, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but my passion is definitely for catching and hitting. Okay. So uh, at the plate, what uh, what's your approach? Are you are you more of a – I don't want to say like a guest hitter, but, you know, do you, do you sit velo? Do you sit breaking ball? Does it depend on the pitcher? How, how do you like to approach an at-bat? Uh, when I go up there, I'm always sitting on fastball timing. You know, mm-hmm. I don't want to get beat by the fastball, so I'm just I'm sitting on fastball timing. You know, line drive right of the shortstop head, um, just trying to hit it hard. You know, that's I'm just focusing focusing on left center of the field because you know I know that's one of my strengths. So if I can just sit left center of the field and then adjust to off speed and hit that right center, then you know I'm perfectly fine with that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I mean the velo is only going to get harder and harder from here, right? Right. Yep. So um, how about this tech? Uh, you know, you've been at perfect game events for, for quite a long time now. You, you know, hit tracks, you know, blast motion, you know, cave at, you know, you, you've been exposed to it all. Um, is it something that you like? Do you like incorporating it into your game, into your training? Is it something you're natural with or are you more just a field guy? Yeah. So down here, we really don't have, you know, access to stuff like that. Uh, but of course in the summer, like with USA and PG, like you were saying, you know, we have all the rap Soto numbers and all that, but Really, the only thing I like seeing is exit velo because, of course, you know, I want to know if I hit the ball hard. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, the higher the number, the better. So just I don't really get into all that stuff. Just, you know, 
if I feel a good barrel, I'd be like, oh, you know, just check check the exit veal on that or whatever. But uh, for the high school season, we're actually we're getting truck man at our high school um, here in Sinton. You know, they're sending us like a, a four year free trial. Um, they pick like ten schools in the in, in America uh, to get that, and we were lucky enough to be one of those. So you know, I'll have access to that uh, this season. So you know, I'm looking forward to you know getting on that and getting those numbers for sure. I like it, man. That's going to be fun to play with. It's going to be fun to kind of check that oh, out yeah, game after game. Sure. Um, yeah. Okay, so USA Baseball, you mentioned USA Baseball. You guys had a really fun summer. Uh, you guys, you know, crushed it for, for what, six weeks, eight weeks there. Uh, how was that experience for you, meeting all those different guys, competing at the highest level, you know, going overseas? Um, how was USA for you? It was great. You know, I just love the competition. Uh, being able to do it last year, you know, with those older guys, you know, I got to play with, like, Jackson, Drew, Tremar, Elijah, all those guys, a bunch of bunch of top picks in last year's draft. So, you know, getting that experience from them last year, you know, just them kind of guiding me through, you know, showing me how to play the USA way and all that. And then just kind of taking the team this year, you know, kind of being one of the, the role models, one of the leaders on the team and uh, just, you know, striving the guys to be excellent, you know, on and off the field. And, you know, lucky enough for us, we came out of there with a the gold medal. So, I mean, we had a great team, you know, we, worked hard every single day, you know, bunt coverages, first and thirds. We went through all that stuff, you know, just battling through it every single day and becoming better, better teammates, players, people. Um, you know, we had a great coaching staff there with Denny Hawkin and Jack Wilson, uh, you know, great guys. So I couldn't ask for much better. How about uh, this winter? Because it's a great opportunity for you to get bigger and stronger, but is there anything specific that you are – really focusing on in terms of your training and development you know how are you how are you looking to get better this winter um so this fall and this winter i'm just looking to stay as mobile as possible you know with my workouts i work out with dst um their location there in tomball texas so it's about a, a three-hour drive for me um but i just go there for my body comps you know get get some numbers there um and then they just send me workouts through an app on my phone and i do those monday through friday so i work out five times a week um, and then just working on some, some explosive stuff, some power stuff. Um, and then as well, just saying, um, as mobile as possible, just like I was talking about. Nice. Nice. All right. So I'll leave you with this last baseball question. LSU, uh, you decided to go with the LSU Tigers. What was it about Jay Johnson and the LSU Tigers that really drew you in? Yeah. So when I first committed, it was actually coach Maneri and coach Kane that were there. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I went and looked at a bunch of colleges, um, you know, a lot of big SEC programs and then just went to LSU and I just had this gut feeling. I was like, you know, this is this is where I belong. You know, this is where I want to be. Um, so I decided to commit. They're actually LSU is my last offer I got. Um, mm. And so decided to commit there um, right before my sophomore year of high school, committed there. And then the coaching change happened. You know, Coach Johnson came in and, you know, you know, I, I never really second guessed leaving LSU. You know, I wanted to play at the box. I want to play in front of those fans. You know, they have great food there. So it's like, you know, it's a win-win. Uh, and then Coach Johnson came in, and I loved everything about him. You know, that, that just made me even more comfortable with him there. Um, you know, he explained the kind of two-way thing, you know, just really whatever I wanted to do. Uh, you know, that made me really, really comfortable with him as a coach. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad he he's there. I'm glad Coach Jordan's there, you know, being a big catching guy um, as the, the, the recruiting coordinator. So that helps me a lot for sure. Yeah, it seems like a good fit. I think that uh, LSU's got a good one if you end up – uh, you know, ending up in uh, in Baton Rouge. But let's hit you with a couple questions kind of off the wall here, and then we'll get you out of here. Kind of like to mi uh, mix it up here at the end. So USA, uh, you meet, play with 35, 40 guys, uh, more than that, even if you're talking about the qualifiers and stuff like that. Um, out of all those guys, uh, who has the worst style? Oh, that's... Because you said look good, play good. So yeah, I got to hit true. you with... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, uh... From the USA team, I think I'll probably go Matthew Dallas. Um, kind of a, that left-handed pitcher, you know, just not the not the most stylish guy out there on the field for sure. Uh, you know, kind of the baggy clothes, you know, but, you know, he's a great, great, great left-handed arm for sure. All right. Uh, USA Baseball again. Who's the toughest guy um, to hit? Who, who's got the who's got the best stuff? Uh, this summer was Bryce Eldridge for sure. Yeah. Um, mm. I think I faced him three or four times and I struck out every single time. Uh, you know, he's, <laughs> he's definitely tough while he's up there on the mound, you know, big six, seven, six, eight, do it up there, you know, throwing. Uh, so, 
you know, he's got got a good breaking ball. You know, that's tough with that fastball coming from, you know, just like I was saying, six eight. So you know, he's a tough 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 arm for sure. That's a lot of arm. That's a lot of arm, no yeah. doubt. Um, all right, so I'll leave you with this. Uh, kind of actually, you know what? I'm gonna hit you with two more questions. Um, in terms of your your Zoom interviews so far with area scouts, uh, cross checkers, guys like that. What's the strangest question that you've received so far? Oh, um, I know one of them came in here and they were like, what's one thing that you're going to tell me that you're not going to tell any other scouts? And I was like, that's a great question. Yeah, I was like, um, you know, I'm really just answering the question. So it's like, I just thought of something off the top of my head. I just told him that I golfed right handed instead of, you know, hitting left handed like I normally do. Uh, so, you know, he thought that was pretty clever. Yeah, I like that. That's a, that's a great question. Yeah, it's a good one to put you on your feet. All right, last question. We always finish with this. Um, what is the one random fact about anything that you know that lives rent free in your brain? Not a lot of other people know it. Oh, that see that's that's a good question. Like for the scouts, um, I don't even know. So I actually have an orange cat, and it's like. Most orange cats, they're like, they're male. And then on their forehead, they have like an M and like the, the white fur. And then most of them have freckles on their lips. Mm -hmm. So if you have an orange cat and you have all three of those, so does mine. So it's like, it's pretty it's common. A boy. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty common in orange cats. He's a boy. He's got the M on his forehead and then he's got the freckles on his lips. Uh, so That's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. I mean, as far as like interesting facts go, that's that's top ten. Yeah. That's top ten, Blake. Yeah. Little, I appreciate cat, that, man. Cat fact for you there. Cat fact. <laughs> Blake <laughs> Mitchell, two way Dynamo, sit in Texas LSU commit. Blake, excited to see what you look like coming out of this winter, man. I think you're uh, due up for a for a big spring, and uh, we'll see what happens in July. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me on.